today we're going to install a remote control kit on the Predator 3500 inverter generator or similar ones. First, you need to buy the remote control kit with two or one or two key fob and a electric door uh, plunger. First remove the two screws to remove the cover where the oil fill door is. We also need to remove the front panel to access the starter and uh, shutdown button. So you need to remove the six screw for the front panel and the door to access the battery to get some 12 volts. Also note that you have to remove the screw on the, cent on the center of the knob for the off run start position. Okay, let's see how my uh, remote control is wired so everything is working. First you need uh, some 12 volt going to the board. Uh, you could have taken it from the battery but I decided to take it from the start switch. The start switch which is this uh, white connector. The white lead going to it is the positive. So you do have to tap on those two wires to activate the, the starter button. So instead of getting the positive from the battery, I tap on the white wire, which is the positive, and feed it up to the positive of the board. For the ground of the main board, I just connect to the panel, one of the two panel ground here. So, and since I need other positive to the other uh, two, uh, the two first relay, I just start from the, another jumper from the positive of the board going to the first relay B log. And from the B, first relay B log to the second relay B log. So the two first really are powered with the 12 volt coming from the white tap that is 12 volt. So the first relay is going to be used which is the A on the remote control is going to be used to trigger the starter. So I have my 12 volt and on the A post of the first relay I did tap on the black and white of that white connector which is a uh, starter switch now the second relay is gonna activate the choke so on the second relay I do have the jumper from the first relay on the B log for the positive and I'm just gonna feed some that same positive to the choke actuator so this is the wire that is going at the back for the choke that we'll see later my third relay is the one that's gonna shut down the engine so that small black connector is the the ground to stop the engine so on each of those black line I did connect those two white that are going to the third relay post A and B that when I hit the C button is gonna ground and the engine is gonna stop. Just remark that uh, if you buy that board Patrick Lee but all those kind of board are the same thing you have three pin there which are jumpers 
it comes with a jumper mine come with a jumper on pin one and two and if uh, you look at the instruction depending where or not putting the jumper you have different acting of the four relay uh, you could have the relay uh, latch when you hit one of the button it goes on and it stays there until you re hit the same button the second uh, mode is uh, momentary so when you hit and hold the button it contact as soon as you pull your finger out of the button the contact goes out that's the mode we're gonna use and uh, I don't remember what is the third mode but uh, anyway we don't use it what we want to do is uh, just momentary contact so for that board actually uh, for that mode you just remove the jumper so <clears throat> let's see uh, the installation of the choke uh, actuator so on this side I remove the cover to remove it you need to uh, unscrew this screw there and uh, remove both wheels and uh, the three screw at the back here and two on the top and the cover is gonna be removed the, the pull cord stay in there so my actuator is here my door actuator I'm gonna give you the link below uh, I install it with brackets uh, and it's going uh, straight to the other side in line with the choke actuator that we'll see later this choke actuator when the green line is positive and the blue line is negative or ground is gonna pull if you inverse them it's gonna push in my case I wanted to pull so blue is ground and the green is tied to my white coming from the positive from the board so let's go on the other side to see the choke system so when you activate the choke not with the uh, generator knob is pulling on that lever level and closing the choke let's see it I turn it choke close release choke open so I install a wire from my actuator I remove the original wire I install the wire in the slot there and then I activate the choke fully closed and I activate my motherboard to pull on the actuator and, and put the mark where I need to install that stopper like that and the lead pull I put a mark there I install my stopper reinstall the cable in there and reinstall the original cable over it so both are working original cable pulling and I, when I take my remote control when I push on B choke on choke off choke on choke off so let's try it uh, first you need to have the start knob this is the off you need to put it at, at the start position I think there's a switch for the gas going down and now since the uh, generator is cold I would need some choke so what I'll do I'll push on A for the starter and B at the same time the choke gonna be applied at the same time as the starter and as soon as the generator starts I am gonna release both and the starter gonna go out and choke also choke choke need to be in only for a few seconds if you need you could release A first and B after if it's very cold but both together worked and after for shutdown I'm gonna hold the C button until the engine shut down so let's try that And shut down 
here it is. Just a remark, uh, even with the remote control attached, you have full control again for the choke, for the start, and the start button work also. So I, if I put the choke, because it's still cold, and I do it with the start button, So all the original function are still working. Thank you very much. About the antenna of the motherboard. If you put it on a L shape like that, you're going to have a much better range. I also added a switch to kill the power to the motherboard. Uh, drainage is minimal, but in long term, one, two or three months or in the winter, uh, it could uh, drain a battery quite a bit. So this switch is cutting the wire going, the ground going from the motherboard to the front panel inside. And uh, so when it's off, there's no power to the motherboard. This way, it's re the power to the motherboard.